if someone was starting out with home assistant today or home automation today, what would be your go-to advice? Like, don't do this, don't make this mistake. What would, what would you be your advice? Um, I don't know. It's definitely uh, different again from like, say, if you were starting a few years back because of like, even the fact that you can break things now and it just doesn't kill <laughs> yeah, <laughs> home assistant. Everything. Yeah. Like, you know, if you put like one back in where it was just, everything was YAML, if you put one thing wrong, like it just, if that was it. Like if you didn't have a backup, you'd killed it. I don't know. Uh, I would probably, I would probably say try and just stick with local devices as you start. Cause I think just yes. based on experience and just from talking to people who have it new, if people don't always understand like the whole local versus cloud thing. Mm. So they might then like, like I did, like I said earlier, where I was like, man, who sucks like from that perspective. Cause they, you know, you think it's the software as opposed to it's the devices yeah. you're using. So yeah, I mean, again, as we move forward and hopefully we start seeing more of these devices, like have that home assistant logo on, that's going to make things a lot a lot easier um and even you know even matter like as and when that like gets better that's going to help people like with with buy and stuff and knowing what to what to use but yeah i think my advice would be maybe just try and keep things local it's i guess easier said than done maybe um it is cause... yeah as soon as you start adding ai or you know voice assistance like then you, you you're basically in the cloud right yeah, but I think even just like from a buyer perspective, like here, if you go to say, you know, like Tesco's or something and, you know, you've got like the electronic section, like, you know, I think like nine out of 10 of those devices are all just going to be cloud devices. And then the ones that aren't, they probably require some kind of cloud thing, but because they're like Zigbee enabled or whatever, obviously you can, yeah. you can do that stuff. Yeah, get around it. Yeah.